Good morning, students. How are you all? I hope you are all fine. Students, you all know about computer, right? You all have seen computer. You know computer. You have worked with the computer. So anytime do you think how the computer is working and how we are getting the output from computer? Anytime do you think like that? Yes, we used to think, okay, how the computer is working and how we are getting the output from computer. We used to think like that, okay. So in today's class, we are going to discuss about that how we are getting the output from the computer. So the computer know that is the interaction of hardware and software. So computer is an interaction of hardware and software. So see here. HW is nothing but it is an abbreviation for hardware. It is an abbreviation for hardware. SW is an abbreviation for software. Once again say HW is an abbreviation for hardware and SW is an abbreviation for software. So the computer knows that is an interaction of hardware and software. Hardware means it is a physical part of a computer which we can see and touch. So what do you mean by hardware? It is a physical part of a computer which we can see and touch. So what are the physical parts of a computer? Say CPU, monitor, then mouse, keyboard, printer. So these are all the physical parts of a computer which we can see and touch. We can see a CPU no? We can see a monitor, we can see a mouse, we can see a keyboard and we can see a printer. So the physical part of a computer which we can see and touch is called a hardware. Similarly, what is the software? Software is the instruction. So, software is the instruction or a program that instructs the hardware to what to do. Once again say, software is the instruction or a program that instructs the hardware what to do. So, we, could, uh, we cannot see a software, okay? So, it's not a physical part. Since it's not a physical part, we cannot see and touch the software. So, software and hardware, they both are complementary to each other. So, without the software, we cannot access the software, uh, hardware. And without the hardware, we cannot access the software. So, students, consider this mobile phone as a hardware part, okay? The part which we can see, the front case we can see and the back case also we can see. The part which we can see and touch is called a hardware part of a mobile phone. And the application we are using inside a mobile phone, no? that is called a software. So what are all the applications we use inside a mobile phone? We used to use WhatsApp, Facebook, messaging app, calling app. These are all the applications which we can see and touch in a mobile phone. Okay? So that are all the examples for an application software. Okay? So the software no, is of two types. So how many types of software are there? Two types of software. They are application software and system software. So what do you mean by application software? Application software means it is a set of a program. Already I have said what is a software? Software is a set of a program or instruction that instruct the hardware to what to do. So there are two types of software. They are application software and system software. So application software means that it's a set of a program, okay? It's a particular set of a program that instruct only a particular object, okay? It is a set of a program that instruct only a specific task to do. So the example for application software is MS Word. So you all know MS Word, right? What do we do in MS Word? We we'll type a letter, we we'll type a mail. So this is called a MS Word. 
and MS Paint is also an example for application software. Next, system software. System software is a group of set of instructions that are bounded together to perform a multiple task. So, what is a system software? It is a group of set of instructions that are bounded together to perform a multiple task. So, the best example for system software is the MS Office. So, you all know MS Office, right? So, tell me some examples of MS Office. So, what are all the applications we use in MS Office? We use Word, Paint, MS Excel, Spreadsheet, the next one is PowerPoint. We 
the user we used to type what we need to present in the computer okay so there will be a translator Properly, okay. The next one is the memory 
storage and management. Memory storage and management means an operating system manages the sharing of internal memory among the multiple applications. What is memory storage? An operating system manages the sharing of internal memory among the multiple applications. Clear? The next one is the file management. File management means a computer system uses a lots of data which is stored on the secondary storage divider. Sorry, secondary storage device. So all the files we created in the computer all will be stored in a secondary storage device. Okay. Okay, 
in this we have the you uh, the structure no in that we have two types one is cui and gui interface so c u i means character